Hello everyone at YouTube, this is Cheeseboat15. Um, I recently watched the, uh, the high definition, uh, paper plate speaker thing for under a dollar. Now, in theory, this should work. Uh, I've given, uh, everything here is 100% not edited. This is directly from my cam. There is nothing that has been changed. I don't like to uh, lie to my viewers. Uh, this may work, it may not. I'm thinking it won't because of simply the fact that so many people have had problems with it. But let's face it, not everyone is as bright as uh, the people that did get it right. And the people that did get it right, well, you're probably bullshitting too, but, uh, I don't care about that. Anyways, on with the experiment. In the experiment, it claims... <sighs> Where the fuck my plate go? Oh, well, that's not good. Uh... Y oh, found it. <laughs> right in front of me. Okay. da da Perfectly foiled. Absolutely perfectly. Notice I said I've given this the best chance it ever had. Okay. Now, on the video, it shows he's supposed to take one incredibly clean penny. Uh. Voila. Incredibly clean. And you're supposed to be able to place it in the middle of the plate. Okay. Now, herein, herein lies the problem. It's in the middle of the plate, okay? Now, this would be the perfect place for making vibrations. However, even though that electrical currents do carry a uh, small magnetic wave with them, I'm highly dubious that this might not work. Uh, so what I've done is, where'd my little cord go? This is not good at all. Uh, uh, shit. Is that it? Yes, I have found it. I apologize. Um, anyways, as you can see, Two, well, you probably can't see because it's so fine. But anyways, it's there. Two incredibly fine wires that'll give the best chance for electrical co contact. Okay, now it says to take the tape, which I have right here. Da da da. It's not the same type of tape, but I figure thinner tape would probably give it a better chance. I got thinking myself. Well, normal speakers, what they do to uh, make sound is they use a magnetic uh, vibration. Here's the problem with that. Or here's the problem with this when I think about that. Alright? You have a plate. Alright? Now, if you just connect two leads, one to each side of the penny. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can bring this down a bit. You see right here, if you um, connect the leads right one to each side of the penny, one down here and one up here and just tape it, it's just uh, sending the electricity through the penny and there's almost no vibration whatsoever. So it got me thinking. I remember some old speakers you would have one of the leads attached to the outside of the plate. So we're going to try this. And if that doesn't work, we'll try it the other way. And one. Over here. To the top of the plate. See, 
if we can get some music going through this. It might work, it might not. This is why it is an experiment. Now, I do not know if it'll work or not, but if it does, hooray. If not, uh, we know it's busted. I've given it the absolute best chance that it will ever get. Let's see here. What do we got that will pump out a lot? Um, What do you know? Absolutely jack shit. Hmm. It's busted, guys. It's not gonna work. No matter what. I've given it the best chance, and it still doesn't work. I've cleaned the penny, it's it is spotless. Um, you know, it, it's just bullshit. I'm sorry, but unless this, uh, home hacker, whatever person, can show me that it's not bullshit, then continues to be bullshit to me. Um, now just to prove that I have music. And it works. I don't have sound from this. It's absolute and utter bullshit. 